I am Mohammad Sahil, coming from Kerala, Kolkata particularly. I did my schooling and graduation from there only. I did my schooling from Kolkata and my graduation from Government Engineering College, Barton Hill, Toronto. So in stream of ECE, and I was passed out in 2023. So it's been now almost two years or one and a half years. After my graduation, I was looking what to do next. Thought that four years I did electronics, why not continue in embedded system? So I came to know that there is one institute called MLC from social media and all. And I also come to know that one of my friends is also studying here. So I, I asked, so I got a positive review. So only I came here. What were your childhood dreams and aspirations? Actually, I didn't have any ambitions. Like most of the kids will be only like that. We only, I hope so. So like I want to be an engineer. I don't know what engineer. Most of them will say they want to be a some sort of software engineer. I also told that I want to be a software engineer, but even though in my during my school schooling, I never studied computer science. I only studied biology. So after that, I took BTEC in EC. Then I came across here. Really, I don't have any ambition at that time. When I'm reaching here only, I had some thought what to do next. Why did you choose Embedded Systems, and why did you join MRZ? Four years I spent in electronics and communication. To have a better growth, our graduation also depends what to do next. So like I have a little exposure exposure in electronics. Also like after my college I have a little bit I know a little bit coding and all. So only I I have planned that to choose Ember system. In social media I came across to know about MLC. So I already reached here. What was the hardest part you faced when you started learning this program? I had a little bit exposure in coding, but like the logical thinking I had. So in the main challenges here is like we have to do a different logic but almost the same only. So in here you'll have good mentors, so you'll have a good support here. So once you are familiar like to, to settle down you will take almost one to two months. After that it will be okay okay. Was there a time you felt like giving up? What kept you motivated? They will give some assignments here to solve. So like if you solve these assignments regularly, like you can do projects easily. So the mentors are here. For the first project, you will struggle a little bit. So you will come across it like you will do second project, you will do third one. So like if you practice it, it will be okay, okay for you. So it will be a little bit easy. If you have any doubt means you can ask the mentors, they will be helping you every time. So that will be one of the challenge. And I have attended some interview before I had rejected for one. So after that, I didn't give up anything. I started working more. How did you overcome this stage? There are many students here. They are all studying the same thing. The main thing is like how you explain what you studied to someone else it matters a lot. Like currently, like you you have to be more exposure on how interviews are going on. So like you have to be good in communications. You have to good in what you are explaining like how detailed you are explaining the technical parts here they are providing mock interviews mm -hmm. like if you suggest if like if you want more mock interviews if you inform to mentors they will take again and again so it helped me a lot how did emergency's course structure help you understand complex topics and projects actually the curriculum is a bit good here you will not feel a struggle there like first you will have the linux basic bash scripting here, then you'll have C, then you'll have DS, then you'll have MC, then you'll have LI. It's a bit ordered. So I will not feel that it's that complex. So they are starting from like in case of C itself, they are starting from the base. So I will not feel that it's that much too complex. While doing the projects, eventually you will take almost for one project four to five days. It's okay. At what point did you start to feel confident that you have become industry ready? Like if you have a resources, you can look and you can study it. The main thing is you have to attend some interviews. So the main turning point was like, I have, I have a feeling that I am not still ready yet. So at last all I took my mock, like usually most of them after joining four months, they will start taking mock. Like I took my mock almost six months later. So like the, I was really not confident at that time. So I took mock two, two times my mock. And I also attended like there will be GD conducting. So. I attended GD twice. How did projects at MRC build your capability in becoming industry ready? There is a number of projects, there are around 16 projects here. So till doing 16 projects will take some sort of time. It depends on what 
topic you are doing. Like in C, you will have a number of like five projects, five to six projects here. So everything is kind of different. You can learn different things. Everything will be challenging only. Everything will be new for you here. So in DS, when you are studying, it will be new for you. The project which I liked was in MC, there was car black box. Like mainly, which you are dealing with the hardware as well as the software, it will be more interesting. So it will be more helpful. The structure here is learning C, DS, then you will learn MC. So like MC we are doing in C only, with the in a perspective of hardware view. So it will be a good challenge to do MC things. Did assignments and projects influence your interview performance? The assignment scene here was really good. There were some sort of like around in C you will have 50 questions. You have to solve it in regularly. Don't solve like five questions at a time. Solve it regularly as well as you have to solve any outside question. Whatever you get, whatever the other questions like mentors give to you. Solve it regularly. Try it not to cheat. Do it to your own. So it will help you in projects as well as like doing assignment is the base of the project. Like how easy you can handle the projects. Good to do projects and assignments on your own. It will help interviews explaining things. If you copy from somewhere, you can't explain the interviewer what you have did. So do it the project your own so you can say whatever you do. What was your reaction when you first heard about getting the Qualcomm opportunity? Actually, I attended an interview and I got rejected. And I started preparing for the other company at that time. So in between Qualcomm came. I was completely continuously preparing for the other company. So in between came and like it was almost two days, like you will have two days. We'll have a test tomorrow. First day, firstly, I was not selected for that that one after the test. And I come to know that the day before informed that tomorrow you will have Qualcomm interview. So like that only I went to interview. Like, but I was continuously preparing for the other company that helped me a lot in Qualcomm. Any lessons during your course that helped you during your interviews? There was some group discussion going on. It was really actually good. You will get more information. Like the GD is basically like there will be some 10 students sitting and you will discuss these technical topics along. So you can share your information around them. Like what you know, what they know. So it will be good. Like you can think what others think the same topic. That was the main point where I'm thinking that I am ready at that moment. After the mock, after the GD, I took time and I gave my interview. What advice would you give to beginners aspiring in embedded systems who feel uncertain? If they are uncertain, like if they are not sure, like I will suggest them for like whatever you are interested, you can do, you can go for that. If you are interested, means only try for it. Like it will take time to study, like almost maybe some will think maybe in six months they, crack, they can crack, but doesn't happen to everyone. So you have to take time and you have to be patient and learning. How was your interview experience? Including any challenges or setbacks? It was around three hour interview. Like I have to communicate for three hours to some three three candidates or other. It was a bit difficult to stay continuously for three hours. Like they were asking mostly logical type of questions, like how you think different way. I told previously, do your assignment your own. Like while doing these things, like there is there will be one particular questions. Approach try to approach that questions in different way. They will ask that. Like they'll ask one question, we'll say one solution. They will again ask. Try to drawing this question different way. Different approach. Like you will you have to know what you are studying. So not only just the answers, you have to know what you are studying, like how to approach this question in different way. And you have to be don't like you will have resume, don't know, don't love your resume. So do, be genuine in what you are saying. Like don't like if you they ask any question, don't make up answers. You can't do that. So genuinely tell that you are, I'm not comfortable with this topic. So I'll refer to it like something like that. What is your advice to your juniors on the importance of projects and assignments in this program? The curriculum is ordered like something is there. While doing a project, you will complete the whole curriculum. So instead instead of revising the whole curriculum, you can like do some projects. So you can have exposure in new topics as well as the current topics you are learning. You can remember things. You are revising actually. You are revising your things while doing the projects. While doing more projects, like the things get in your mind. You will not forget forget it. That's all. What does securing a job at Qualcomm mean to you? Looking back on your journey, the achievement means a lot for me. Like previously, I don't I don't know what to do while coming here. From, from here really I come to know that like some previous company will come here I can join them so I started working and started doing a lot of projects while looking back I'm very proud of myself 
getting placed to Qualcomm and I look forward to have a good career in Qualcomm. What's next for you in your career? I have to be like better in what I am doing right now. Like when I am here, like I was doing pretty good here. So in Qualcomm, like there, there are many challenges too. Like there are new things to study, new things to learn, new technologies to know. I have to be learning that things and to be a good part of the team working. What is the one do and one don't you advise to anyone to succeed in their career? Must have a good curriculum what you are learning on. Like unnecessarily don't learn something, something. Like you have to be focused on what you are learning. Learn things that you want in your career. Like now there are a number of technologies. You don't want to learn that number of technologies. If you want the embedded system, you are, first you need a particular syllabus for that. You have to learn accordingly. Like there, there must be order for learning. So you can finish it in a particular period of time. As well as you can learn things in a particular manner. Or you can remember, do the things properly. So that that's the, that will be one thing that I will say to do and don't do itself.